reception it's Miss Spencer I hope you're all doing well so today is a new week it's Monday the 19th of October and our maths learning today is going to be about the number one so let's get started to help us we're going to be using this book this week it's called Anno's counting book and I have got the page for number one from that book here so I want you to have a little look at the snowy scene and I want you to try and tell your adult the pictures that you can see that represent one. So you might have found one sun, one tree, one bird, one house and even one snowman. So I went on a little hunt around my house and I have found some things here that represent one. So I've got one toy, one knife, one button, one pen, one apple and a little card here with the number one written on it as well. So I want you to pause this video now and I want you to go and little hunt for things around your house that you can find to represent the number one. Okay, I hope you found lots of things that represent one. Now, on the screen here, we have got some pictures. Some of the pictures represent the number one, but some don't. So I want you to try and find the ones that represent the number one. Yes, we've got one peach in the basket. We've got one girl in a boat. We've got the Numicon number one, and we've also got the card with the number one written on it as well. What about these pictures here? Can you find the ones that represent one this time? Got one spot on the dice, the hand with the number one on it like that and one cake with one candle on top of it. Well done everybody. So here is a little rhyme to help you remember how we write the number one just like we do with our phonics we're also going to do it for our numbers. So to do this one you start at the top and you say to yourself straight down the soldier. So starting at the top, straight down the soldier. Get your magic pens with me and you start at the top and you go straight down the soldier. And again, straight down the soldier. And that is how you write the number one. Easy peasy. So it's up to you now, guys. I've got some little tasks that you can do. So you can go on your hunt to find the things you can get for the to represent the number one you can also draw a picture like the picture from Anno's counting book so I have drawn a picture of a farm and I have drawn things that represent one so one son one horse one chicken one cow one pig one bush one cloud one tree so you can have a go at doing the same you can also have a go at writing the number one so you can do this on paper you can do it in the air, you can do it using shaving foam, anything that you've got at home. So remember starting at the top and we go straight down the soldier. And I'm also going to make sure that there is a link on our school website to the number blocks episode all about the number one for you to watch as well. So as ever, if you can get your adult to send us pictures and videos of you learning about your number one, that would be fantastic. We'd love to see what you're getting up to. And I'm going to leave it there for today. So I hope you learn lots about the number one and I will see you tomorrow for your next math lesson. Bye reception.